This is Ray Orr with Comcast High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps. St. Pius X has been one of the premier athletic programs in TAPS, having developed its share of elite athletes. But it's truly rare when a student athlete excels in two sports and reaches the level of All-American in each. Such are the accomplishments of Cole Stewart. Cole is one of the nation's top 10 rated pro-style quarterbacks. And with a 95 mile per hour fastball, Cole is a potential first round MLB draft choice. Wow, what to do, what to do. I mean, I, I mean, I love doing them both. I don't really look forward to a season over the other. Whenever I'm done with baseball, I'm looking forward to football. And whenever I'm done with football, I'm looking forward to baseball. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to whatever opportunities I have, but I can't really, you know, who knows what happens. I'm not going to, I mean, I'm putting God's hands and that's about it. And when you're as gifted as Cole Stewart, you attract a lot of attention, like it or not. And continued success depends upon how one handles the celebrity. His embarrassment about the attention that he gets because of his ranking and where he is as a baseball prospect and as a football prospect. Um, he, he doesn't like to, to, to get all that attention. You know, it kind of embarrasses him. And uh, I think that he wouldn't admit to that, but I, I know it does because it, it really, uh, when we played on ESPN this year, a lot of that was because he's a highly touted quarterback. And uh, he didn't want it to be about that. He wanted it to be about St. Pius and his teammates. Everybody in the locker room knows that my biggest goal this year is to win a state championship, not to go play in an Under Armour game or anything like that. So, you know, anything less than that would be a, a failure. And it hasn't distracted us at all. You know, I, I got to definitely give credit to our guys. Uh, no one guy, you know, there'll be guys that are coming through here that do bigger things than I do. And uh, there have been guys like that. So it's not anything special. And uh, our guys have maintained focus and continue to keep their, you know, eye on the prize for sure. Athletic ability certainly attracts on the field attention. But Cole's value to his team extends well past the sidelines and into the locker room. Well, they've really developed. I think he's gone from a kid that uh, was looking for someone to lead to actually handling the role of, of leader. And uh, he understands that in order to be a leader, it can't just be through uh, words. It's got to be through your actions. And I think his actions speak a lot to the kids uh, that he plays with, and he does a great job of being a leader in the locker room, in the hallways, um, in the cafeteria, out here on the practice field, on the game field. He's just done a tremendous job. Uh, it's de that's been rough for me. Uh, my sophomore year, I was with a whole bunch of uh, older guys, so I didn't really have to do that. I really don't have to take it on. And then my junior year was a, was a rough year just with injuries, and we didn't you know, get the kind of wins we wanted to, and I really wasn't a good leader that year. And then, Probably the most mature, I probably matured the most over the last year from last season to this season. Cole is committed to play for the Texas A&M next season. And that will present a challenge both physically and emotionally. I think that in order to, to defeat uh, Division I level, uh, high end college level athletes in the secondary, he's going to have to use his whole body when he throws. Uh, and he's got a great arm. You know, even when he doesn't use his lower body, he, he gets the, a lot of snap on the ball. Uh, but when he really consistently gets to where he's using every bit of his body when he throws the football, he's going to be dynamite. Controlling the huddle with you know guys that are older than you, you never know. I mean, you could be you know an 18 year old kid, and there's a guy blocking for you that's four years older than you. You just kind of learn to maintain respect for everybody on your team, and you know remain a team guy. And uh, that's probably the biggest deal for me. And when Cole moves on, he'll leave a big hole to fill for the St. Pius Panthers. The the biggest thing that I'll miss w with Cole is um, just his his ability to understand things quick. He understands what we're trying to do. He understands the reasons. Um, there's things that we can change in the middle of the game, and uh, he gets it. There's a lot of times, there's been a couple of games where he's called plays because he felt comfortable with something working, and it's worked a lot of the times. And, and the Panthers will have prepared yet another outstanding young athlete for a very bright future. No, I mean, you know, just he's a, he's a great kid, and uh, he's going to be successful uh, no matter if it's on the field to play. No matter if it's um, on, a, on a baseball diamond, on a football field, uh, working for a corporation, he's going to be a successful man and, and he's going to be a good family man and a good husband and, and you know, a good father. And that's, that, that's what you want from the kids that you coach and he's going to be really a, a great one. Thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, keeping you in demand.